Hello, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what actually a flagship species is. Now, if you isolate the term flagship, you think of a navy. And the flagship is the, um, the prime dominant model, and it's the peak of the navy. And it's quite often the admiral's ship, and uh, it, it takes over, and it's everything to do with the flagship and it's got bigger sails, it's got more guns than any of the other ships and we look at then species, well species is obviously um, a type of being and uh, a species is a group of beings that can interbreed and are genetically very similar and a flagship species, um, for example, is a panda. A uh, panda is a flagship species. Uh, rhinoceros is. Uh, elephant is. And uh, quite often in conservation they use flagship species. And quite often those species that are flagship species are uh, those that we can relate to a lot. So quite often you have orangutans and you'll have young pictures of quite often the animals have got big eyes and um, the eyes are right here and um, what happens there is that we look at them it, it, it brings in our maternal aspect the problem with looking after flagship species is that organisations um, go off and pump money into looking after the flagship species and only that species. And the problem with that is that you can look after the panda, you can breed millions and millions if you want, but where are you going to put them? You've got to put them somewhere. So it's better to invest uh, in the environment or in a cluster of keystone species instead of flagship species um, I think that's a more effective way of conserving um, pivotal species you look at the African savanna um, you think of rhinoceros the big five cats you think of elephants you think of um, lots of different little animals such as antelopes and but you think of the flag the the um, keystone species are actually grass and ants and beetles they're the ones that are in more numbers than every any other animal and without those keystone species species that um, quite many that the whole food chain relies on um, without those species you will get the diversity and the, um, the actual flagship species and if you've got problems with the, uh, the original uh, first patch, say it's a, a plant um, you quite often see uh, it go up the food chain and numbers begin to dwindle for prey and predator so yeah, I hope I've explained flagship species and um, I hope I've given you some information, uh, given you an insight into modern day conservation and perhaps um, has helped you um, understand the limitations of such a uh, title and of such an investment in a project and um, perhaps lead you on to thinking about sustainability and uh, what you can do to be healthy and be green and protect the environment. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please comment, subscribe and rate. I look forward to hearing from you soon and um, I will be doing some more videos and thank you for watching this one and I look forward to uh, hearing from you soon.
Bye-bye.